everyone. Good Tuesday morning. Uh, is it Tuesday? Thursday. It's Thursday. Oh my gosh, it's Thursday. I do that all week the time. already. Yeah. We got back at one o'clock in the morning. I'm sure Becca told you on Tuesday. I've worked every day since, and it has been an interesting week. Um, I just woke my son up from his nap, and he needs to go back down. He only so went down about 15 minutes ago. The, the girls forgot that he was on this live for just a second, and so they put him down, yeah. and he was sleeping so cute Mom's and sleeping. cuddly. And Mom's so that's why he's in his Ninja Turtles pajamas. Um, he's super cute in them, even though Becca says they're tacky. I love him to death. Um, so what I'm going to do is real, real, real fast tell you all briefly like what we're doing. I am Anna Lamb owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb. Uh, Rachel is Rachel Webb. She's an owner and craft educator. And then Becca is over changing a stinky diaper right now. And uh, that's Becca Oaks. And she is an owner and craft educator. Oh, oh. Um, anyway, so we're going to be making a dollar store um, Easter craft. Uh, and this is so funny. It's, it's actually a, another planter. Surprise, surprise. But this is it's, it's like going to be a rabbit theme you all see in a minute. It's and so this, cute. It's called a black rabbit fern. <gasps> really, black, Anna? Yes. I, I didn't even try. I, I didn't it up. even I try. I was like, well, that kind of looks like something a rabbit would eat. And I was like, well, look at that. Um, anyway, so. Oh, my baby. So we will go ahead and put his stinky little feet on this thing um, so that he can go back down and take an N-A-P. You like to go night-night, don't you? No, 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 no. Oh. His cuddles are like the best. Oh, they're cuddles. the best. Y'all are going to get to see the cutest, chunkiest, stinkiest feet in the whole wide world. If only there was smell of vision. I know. Oh, no. Uh, so if you want to go overhead, we'll go ahead and get that out of the way and then I'll talk a little bit more. Okay, buddy. <gasps> you do it to mama. Oh. Let me know if you need help and I can come over and help you. This old stink, stinker. Look at these chunky feet. <laughs> And his toes, guys, his toes are Wee! like so short and chunky. <laughs> Look at those. Look at his wee, toes. Wee, 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 wee. He's smiling about it. <sniffs> oh, his stinky feet. Okay, here. Let's push your little legs up. I may actually need one of y'all to help me. Yeah, I got it. Are we um, good overhead? Yeah, overhead. With, uh, Getting his feet wiped back off. Okay, chunk, chunk. Let's do this pretty little cream color. <gasps> what is what is Pookie doing to you, feet? What is Pookie doing? Yo, stink face. Okay, buddy. It's just gonna be cold. It's gonna be cold. Okay, let's do this chunky foot first, okay? Now, Becca, oh, crud. Did you find... I don't know where it's at. That's on his pinky, the back of his pinky. That um, doing Pearson's foot on the pottery, the more paint you did, the worse it was, or the less? So it less needs more, more paint, or less, less is more. more. Ooh! Look at that. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. You don't like that. Oh, Pookie saved me. <laughs> What is that? Don't touch. Don't touch. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this is your feet. Okay. Okay, buddy. Okay. You're doing good. You're doing good. You ready? One, two, three. Wow, look at that. Okay, now we got to get your other one. <laughs> Go junky junky feet. I uh, know, honey. You just want to go back and take another nap. It's like, Mom, you want me up for this? Oh, my God, Mom. This is terrible. I'm literally going to have a floss in between. <laughs> You're doing so good, bud. You're doing so good. Okay. Last one, buddy. Last one. Okay, so basically, you can get a round or any shape pot that you want. I just loved this square one because it's unusual. Um, and put them like this. These are going to be your bunny feet. And I will probably touch these up just a little bit so that they're more pronounced. But 
You did so good. Thank you for crafting on oak and lamb. Yeah. That'll be fifty dollars. Yeah, I'll I'll put it in your piggy bank, okay? Okay, take your socks. Can you tell everyone bye? Can you blow kisses? Yeah. Can they see my back on? Yeah. You blow kisses. Mm. Mommy loves you. Go take a night night. Let me get your puppy. Here's his socks. Here's his puppy. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, as you can see, we have his two little precious feeties on there. And I'm just, do what? I am, but I'm going to um, tweak a little bit of the toes and stuff first. So I definitely do not want to change the overall shape um, because then it loses its authenticity. And obviously, I, I really do wish that these looked as chunky as what his little feet are. So we're just going to fill that in a little. Mm -hmm. Listen, I wanted to plant um, like cilantro or rosemary or some kind of herb in it. Um, and I went this morning to Lowe's and they don't have that out yet. So you could do whatever. The reason that I am going to try to do something that doesn't actually flower, though, is because I'm going to be putting ears on this. And um, if the flower gets too tall, then you wouldn't be able to see the ears as well. So just fill that in. His feet are bigger than I remember. I well, was, I was you know, every kind of print like gets bigger when you put it on yeah. there, too, because where you're squishing it. But his, I mean, because his feet really aren't that big. And like I said, you could do this really bright, um, all bright Easter colors with a bright pot. But we all know that I'm boring. And uh, if I want to put this in my house and actually keep it from year to year, we've got to go classic. So <clears throat> get your heat gun out. This is the... PYD life. Yeah, it came with the um, PYD oven you're using today. Oh, yeah. Yep. And we are using this sublimation oven. How much time is left on this? Because I don't want to overcook it. Six minutes. Okay. Um. Anyway, so we've got the plugged in and just dry that. I have gone ahead and... Can they hear me over this, or is it hard to hear? They can hear you. I have gone ahead and made a replica of one of the other things that I'm going to show you um, and had it cooking, but then I am going to show you how I actually did the whole process. I just wanted this one finished so that I could paint it, um, and you all weren't having to sit here through the whole baking process. Really, with this, I'm concentrating more on the sole of the foot because I'm going to go in and put, like, the circular imprint of the little foot I'm, I'm having a hard time deciding what color I want to do that, though. I might do burnt sienna. Thanks for keeping my uh, seat warm back up. Oh, thank you. Okay, that's going to be pretty good. I... I want kind of like a tone on tone on this. So I'm going to probably, this is called warm gray, which it actually looks grayish to me. It doesn't even look gray. Um, but I'm just going to put a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of um, a brown in it just to make it a little bit darker. Uh, and when I say tiny, I mean like I'll start with like a tip like this, because with the dark, it really can change really fast. Anna, do you do a lot of um, Easter decorating? No. I don't either. I, I, when is St. Patrick's Day? Because I never keep up with that holiday. It's the 17th of March. Is it? I never keep up with that one. 
that's what not the day that oh Becca's not down here I think that March 17th was either her father-in-law's birthday or the day he passed away I can't remember Mm -hmm. we would have been really little um but she always remembers it because of one of those Linda, you're correct. She said, for being woken up and having cold pain on his feet, he was pretty cooperative. No, I'm telling you, my baby, honest to goodness, he is a godsend he baby. Is, he oh is man. phenomenal. Gosh, he's a good baby. <clears throat> okay, so all I've done is just made this just a little bit darker, and I'm going to go in. And this is going to look real. This brush is really stiff. Becca, what day is um, St. Patrick's Day? And what is it that happened on 17th? It is Wayne's dad's birthday. Okay. Did he? Did he really? She said that Becca said mama for the first time on St. Patrick's Day. Well, that is precious. Do we have any other brushes? Because this one really sucks. Anna, there's an, a bunch. Of- yeah, but these are all like stiff square ones. I need like a really thin one. This one may work. Yeah, that works. Should have used paint pens. That'd have been cute. Oh, are they all dried out? Brando said, "When my kids were little, I decorated for every holiday. My mom, um, when we were probably twelve, uh, she turned into the Grinch." I love her to death, and she she knows that we make fun of her, and she like got out of the spirit of decorating for holidays. But as soon as we popped out these grandbabies, it came over the, the Grinch's heart grew six sizes, and she she goes nuts nuts on holidays for these babies. Now, mom would do some stuff like she had this wooden bunny in the foyer that um, you changed its ears seasonally, and the bunny like would hold. It had a necktie sure. and ears that were made out of fabric, mm-hmm. and you would change those out, and then it had a hole in one of its arms that would have, like, it would hold a flag or a tulip or something like sure. that. Sure. And she would do that. So, that's cute. And then she had a few little things like that growing up. Something I don't think either of you know about me is that I, I'm a little bit obsessed with the yard goose. What? The yard The yard goose. I'm what obsessed. is a yard goose? So it's like this humongous, heavy, painted goose. And you put it in your yard, and you dress it up in a dress and a hat for every holiday. Done. What? Done. It's a yard goose. So like you, it, the, it has like a cult following, okay? Yard is it goose. pretty much something that only goose. like a southern mammal would have? Exactly. Okay. And okay. that's the whole draw of it for me. Okay, walking outside in my moo. And changing my yard goose's clothes. Are you kidding me? So, like, you'll put, like, a with bonnet a on it. With a cigarette With a cigarette in my hand. Yeah, uh-huh. My hair and curl, you know, curlers in my hair. A yard goose? I don't know. But I love that. Like, I would do that all the time, is change Probably my yard Probably someone's goose. estate sale, if we're being honest. Like, you know, for I would change it for everything. Like, I'm surprised Mama didn't have one. I'd be like, oh, my God, it's it's going to rain. It's going to storm. Go, Someone go get my yard goose. Like, is it? What's it made out of? So some of them are cement. Some of them are plaster. Some of them, but they're like, you know, just a big, heavy yard goose. I absolutely love yard goose. We can put it next to your toilet planter. Got to have one. Okay. Okay, folks. There are our cute little bunny feet. That's now, adorable. That is finished. Ooh, that is finished too. Let me go around here. Okay, so this is the PYD Life oven. I am told you can do lots with it. This is my first time ever using it. You can use this for sublimation. Obviously, we're using this for clay today. Should I take this completely out or just sure. leave it in there for it a It doesn't second? matter. Whatever you want to do. I think it could use a little bit longer. It, it'll stiffen up when it cools down as well. It's 
Oh. Oh no! I thought that was gonna happen. <laughs> okay, okay. We're just gonna glue those on. It's gonna be fine. I think that that's gonna be fine. Becky, you better be glad that's a magnetic and not a plug-in. Let me <laughs> let me just put that in just a little bit longer, just a little bit. Uh, we'll go what, like five minutes, six minutes? Sure. Five. Uh, six sounds good. I don't care. I can't believe. Well, you did. What kind of glue am I gonna glue that on with? Okay. Anyway. We're making a little yard stake in there, but I'm, I will go ahead and show you how I did that. Let me set this aside for a second. We are using Sculpey. This is oven baked clay. I used this crafters collection, which I'm assuming this is probably from Hobby Lobby, isn't it? E probably. Um, it actually bakes at 110 and this other one bakes at 130. This says bake for 30 minutes at 110 though. So that one will need more. Uh, do not put uh, heated. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Anyway, so I use that for the actual carrot portion of our steak. And what I'm going to do is make a carrot with some leaves. Now this the Sculpey is a whole lot more pliable than the Hobby Lobby brand. I did find that out. Um, you had to like warm it up a whole lot more. This blue is going to stain your hands, by the way. Don't play with it and then like have a wedding or something the next day that you have to go to. What? It may sure. come off with some soap. It didn't really come off all the way with a baby wipe. Anyway, so what I did was take a whole cube of the clay and... I kind of made a ball, like a like an egg really. And then I stuck a small skewer wooden dowel in the end of it and then just started rubbing my hands back and forth and making it like an elongated cone, which is what a carrot is shaped like. And I move your phone out of the way. I think it's is trying it? to focus on your phone. Okay. Thank you. Oh, yeah, there we go. Is that good? Now, luckily, a carrot is not really a hard shape to make, guys. So, there you pretty much have it. It just depends on how big you want it to be. Then, I went in with my shaping tools. Um, this, where did it go? This one has a ball on the end of it so that it makes a little bit bigger of a groove. And I just carved in the shape of the lines of a carrot. The other thing is when I was making my carrot, I went in on the sides and pushed in a little bit because have you ever seen an actual perfect carrot? Like most of the time they're like squished in on one side or like they, they're not a perfect, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. a perfect thing. So don't overthink that. And obviously you could make whatever you wanted. This is just the fun part of decorating it basically. Um, uh, by the way, this is the first time I've ever used clay in my entire life. Becca this morning was like, you know, we've got clay that you could make that out of. And I'm like, oh my God, I actually really love it though. I don't know if we'd get into like a whole lot of detail how much I'd love it, but I may have to watch some videos so that I can show you all some better technique. Okay, so you get the idea with that. I did it on both sides, um, but it doesn't really matter. I also then went at the top and put two holes where my leaves are going to go down in. are the dried ones so you get the idea like it you'll just push it down in there and glue it are they supposed to move a little bit well it's, it's probably still cooling down okay. i'd say okay um so that one 
the but no, it's the supposed to dry hard. It is supposed to dry hard. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is blue. We I will go back and paint this. Obviously, I don't want a blue carrot in my super you neutral don't? house. I, you know, it's surprising me. It surprises me a little bit. Anyway. So for the leaves, I just got a little piece. Look at my hands. I'm like a smurf. Uh, Anna, how many memberships did I tell you had to sell today? Uh, Rachel told me I needed to sell four memberships. So I'm going to need, I need five people to buy memberships today. Yeah. yeah. And Rachel, what does that membership get you, you well, ask? Uh, let me tell you, first of all, first of all, if you're like, now listen, I don't have a lot of money to spend. All you need is nine ninety nine. Okay. Nine ninety nine. That's like a good coffee right That's, there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. A good coffee. So instead of your good coffee or right beside your good coffee, you could buy the Oak and Land membership. You need this membership. Not only do you get us and our personalities, which are priceless, <laughs> clearly, but we have over a thousand digital cut files for every single occasion. So it doesn't matter if you're planning a birthday party, if you're decorating your house for summer, if you're trying to make this cute little craft that uh, Anna's going to make and you want to soup it up with a cut file. We have so many cut files and we keep adding to that collection of cut files. And um, also, if you're wanting to make a little bit of money, you can actually use any and all of our cut files to sell projects you make using them completely free because all of them come with a free commercial use license which is phenomenal we have some member only videos some member only uh, podcast episodes some member only training as well as some um courses in there if you happen to have a cricket and you're kind of a newbie or maybe you just didn't get the great fundamental training when you got your cricket and you're wondering if you know all there is to know about it we have some courses whether you have uh maker explore joy uh even most of the trainings can be um helpful if even if you have a venture uh, we have those completely free in that membership as well and then our most favorite perk uh, from our members we've heard is our private Facebook group so all of our members are in there in that great Facebook group and you can ask questions and post pictures and chit chat we're just one big happy family over there like last week I forget if it was on Becca's I forget whose live it was we we just wanted you all to post all of your pictures of your wedding days that was so and let me tell you fun. did that not make our week like I'm we loved what, seeing Ms. all those Linda's pictures oh my god I They're, I love I love them. seeing all of those Cat's prom picture was oh Scott. my gosh I love oh it. my god and gosh. you all shared how long you were together and what year it was it was stories perfect of like making your own wedding dresses and your bridesmaids dresses so and cute. it was so much but see, fun we got to know you guys so much better we'll never forget some of those photos we saw in the post that we read and that's what we want as a community so if you're looking for a great community let's say you don't have a cricket that's fine we use so many different types of craft mediums we're always learning in order to teach you guys new things about crafting we just want you guys to be confident and well-rounded no matter what type of crafts you enjoy so if you're looking for a really great community join oak and lamb you're gonna love it becca no not becca anna is that yes. carrot stiff I, I, you got a stiff carrot I'm, i need you to <laughs> test it and feel it since i've never done this before you, you, your head's in the gutter, isn't it? Oh, Anna. Is that good or no? Yeah, you probably didn't need to put it in there for six more minutes. Well, it didn't crack or anything, so we're okay. Are you going to use super glue or hot glue for that? Uh, I'm not, not sure yet. I'm going to finish the carrot as this one dries. Um, what I did with this is just pat it out. I would suggest, if you're doing this, putting it on um, parchment paper or um, wax paper because it will come off easier. What are you smiling at me about? The baby? Okay, so this next part, I kind of, well, clearly I freehanded. You can tell by looking at that. But this one is a sharper tool. Becca had some fancy name for it. What'd you call it? A quilling tool. Mm. You, you put paper in it? No, I pushed, I said that right there. That's a quilling. And you, you guys know, you roll it up. I mean, I don't know about that. But anyway, so I just started with the, sharp pointy end i'm sure there's actually tools that you're supposed to use for this drawing out the shape of the leaf that i wanted and i'm not going all the way through just yet just in case i don't like the actual shape
Do we have any any avid clay crafters on here? I used to love clay. I used to use it all the time. Poor mom would uh, be trying to make lunch, and I would have clay in her oven, just baking. What kinds of things did you make with it? I liked to make um, miniature versions of large things. So I liked to do, like, pies. Like, I would get a 98-cent pie from Walmart, and it came with that little bitty pie tin. Then I would make, the like, a pie out of clay. You know, I'd roll up little blueberries and do the lattice and all that. And then what would you do with said pie? Display it for all to see. <laughs> I would do, uh, my favorite was a tiny sock monkey holding an even tinier sock monkey. But I made it with marble clay. So I marbled um, metallic silver and white clay. <coughs> it was really it was really cute. Do you still have it? No. Unfortunately, it was at my parents' house oh, when, when it burned. No. So clay went bye-bye. It, it baked too long. Oh my God. So it's been a couple years I can laugh about it now. But... Yeah, I loved working with clay. And then now I'm just cutting all the way through and pulling off the excess. Yes, Micah, it is. Yeah, you cut out those cricket flowers and that quilling tool will um, wrap those up super, super well. Becca also has a cut file on our website that is a carrot cut file. If you wanted to cut this out of chipboard or on your Glowforge laser, whatever, um, you could do that as well. I ended up baking this at 130 degrees Celsius. Two, was it two, 275 Fahrenheit? Um, like 25 minutes they say that based off of um the thickness of your clay it's there's different increments for that now i'm just cleaning up the edges a little bit so i have a question yeah it's not craft related so if you have a craft related comment to make go ahead I, no 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 okay uh, so when you all were in the airport coming home and you were wearing the same shoes and the sh same color and you went through security and security uh, haphazardly. Did Becca tell you to do this? No. When your shoes were haphazardly thrown on the conveyor belt through security and when you got through. Well, they were not haphazardly. We put them where they were supposed to go. And I don't know if the guy smelled them or what. Okay. Well, let's um, forget we heard that. Um uh, how exactly did you determine whose shoes were whose? Because I know that there was some uh, concern about putting on the other twins' shoes. So was it like the stinkier one or is Anna's? Like the whichever shoes stink the most has to be Anna's. Tell me a little bit about that process. So Becca's for real smelled like her fabric softener of her sock. Mine were stinkier because all I could smell was her sock in there. Do you, do you want to do a smell test right now? I mean, I, I wouldn't be opposed to it, but I don't think that's practical. Listen, I'm going to tell you all something. I mean, I mean, my feet are a whole lot stinkier than Becca's. How is that? I'm not sure. Do you wash your feet in the shower, Anna? Yeah. Anna, do you wear if I If you put your hand on a Bible and swore, swore, like, swore. Like you just scrub them. You wash your feet in the shower? Yes. You loofah your feet in the shower. Yes. Becca doesn't wash the bottom of her well, feet in so the shower? Well, so I'm just stinkier than she is. I guess that's where Chapman gets it. Anyway, so when Becca and Rachel first got these um, sandals that the, they wear, the Earth Runners. The Earth Runners. Earth that's runners. okay. No, I don't I'm care. saying Becca just doesn't have stinky feet is what this boils down to. Which I am... At Which all. I'm jealous of. I've never smelled her feet in my life. Except for, except, oh man, that was bad. She had, we played travel basketball, uh, like AAU, and she had this ankle brace. It would clear a room, I'm telling you. <laughs> clear a room. We were sitting on the bleachers in between games one time, and someone, what, what did you get blamed on, Becca? A someone fart. Someone asked if someone farted, and it was Becca's foot 
the whole time. It was terrible. Anyway, so we're downtown Rogersville this summer, and Becky and Rachel had just gotten these shoes. I mean, like they ordered them on the same day, had just gotten them. And um, she and Jason had just started dating. <laughs> we're up having coffee at this cute little place called Coffee at the Cow. And Rachel's like, I think I can smell my feet. And her sweet little husband now was like, no, I don't smell them. And I'm like, <laughs> so I closed my eyes and had Becca give me one shoe and Rachel give me another. Didn't know which one was uh -huh, what. Uh -huh. I did it four or five times and consistently could tell which one was Rachel's. And, and everyone else swore they couldn't tell. And, but I'm like, how am I consistently getting the same one yeah. if it didn't? No, it, listen. Maybe I haven't got a really good smeller, too. To, to this day, I still know that my feet stink in those shoes, but I love them too much not to wear them. Oh, so I, I know. wear them, and I'm like, sorry, everybody else. Because, like, I wash my feet, and then I will even put Lumi, like Tangerine Lumi, on the bottom of my feet. And wear my shoes with pride. And when I'm in the truck, I like to go um, barefoot. I like, yeah, I like to do uh, crisscross applesauce. Uh -huh. So I'll take my shoes off and do crisscross applesauce. So then they just kind of, you know, when you take your shoes off, then your feet aren't. Your feet are on the shoe sole, so more the aroma can come off of the shoe. And he <laughs> he has never said a word. That man has never said a word about my feet. Um, Hey, tell him what he was doing about my drinks. I hope he's watching right now. Um, so Anna likes, first of all, we all religiously drink Coke Zero. Uh, Diet Coke is of the devil. Becca does not. I drink Coke Zero. I, now, not like that's all I drink. I drink a lot of water now. I like sweet tea sometimes, but Coke Zero is where it's at. Honest to the good Lord, out of a can, regular Coke is too sweet for me now. That oh, God, I, I hate regular Coke. Now that I've drank Coke it. Zero for so many years. So, Anna loves uh, Cherry Coke Zero. Like, it's my all-time favorite. Yeah. So, I got some from a uh, Walmart order for Anna. I mean, it tastes like cough syrup to me, but whatever. We all know how all of us like to give Jason crap. Yeah, and he likes to dish it right back. And he accused me of our camp trip last year of drinking every last one of his Coke Zeros. Mm -hmm. I didn't have one. Literally, hand on the box. Mm. Did I have one? Maybe one, but it's fine. I may have had one. But he claimed that you had, like, the whole case. The whole case. I, I'm not going to say I didn't have any because I may have had one. But I know it wasn't more than one. Yeah. And he literally is still giving me crap about mm. drinking all 12 of them. But I put Anna's drinks in the fridge, and he was like, why'd you get these crappy cherry Cokes? And I was like, I just wanted to try them, see how they were. And he said, oh, okay. Because if they were Anna's, I was going to dump them all out in the sink and send her a video of me doing it. Because <laughs> every time we're ever here at the lake house, I'll I'll drink one of his Coke Zeros and take a video of it, me burping or something and send it to him. We're real classy over here, guys. But he never responds to me. Like, he just ignores it. No, no, he reads it, laughs about it, and then moves on. <laughs> I don't even get the satisfaction of the laugh, though. No, no. I get to hear it a lot. Okay, so <clears throat> all I did was make two different sizes, just like I showed you. Go in, make your little veins, and then look how cute that's. I mean, like a teal carrot. Who knew? But it's cute. Okay, so these, ooh, these are good and hard now. Good. I thought they would when they would... Um this guy's still not. The carrot's not hard enough. It's uh, he's still really hot though. Okay, yeah, yeah. I would I'm let not him really cool down. gonna change the color much of him anyway. That's fine. Um, it, it takes a while for him to stiffen up after yes. you get so it out of there. So what I am gonna do is paint these so that they're not an atrocious shade. Um, I've got Deco Art Avocado and Folk Folk Art Mossy Meadow, and I'm just going to use both of these. Ray, my favorite drink of all time is vanilla Coke Zero, and you cannot find it anywhere Ew. ever. Uh, now, vanilla Coke, like if I'm going, like if I go to um, the gas station and I can, like if we're going on a road trip and we get to stop at the gas station to get like a, a drink, I get the, you know, the good ice, and then I do vanilla syrup in the Coke. Vanilla? And it is, yeah, vanilla. 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 Vanilla syrup in the cold. Vanilla. And it's delicious, but... One time I found a case of vanilla Coke Zero, and I was like, I'll try this to see if I like it. Went back, never, I never see it again. Never seen it again. 
if I see it, I will buy a pallet of it. But I <laughs> haven't I haven't seen it. But Ray, yeah, vanilla Coke is my is my jam. Now the regular vanilla Coke though, legitimately has like double the carbs in it as regular just what? regular Coke. And I'm like, why? Makes me so angry. But whatever. If you don't have to count carbs or anything, that's phenomenal. I'm so glad. <laughs> I don't count them. I'm just, I think, a little more mindful now. To. If you were going to, it's horrible. Listen, I know that you hate Dr. Pepper just like I do. Mm-hmm. Um, have you ever tried the vanilla Dr. Pepper? No. No, I would. I. I would. I would try see, it. I won't. I would try it. I hate Dr. Pepper. But my thing, I'm going to be honest, okay? It's not the taste going down. Like, because that's fine. It, it really doesn't bother me. It's the aftertaste that lingers in my mouth for hours. I cannot deal with it. I don't like it. And our oldest literally drinks like a 24 pack in a week. Oh it's, my God. It's running through. I'm telling you, if you slice that kid open, that's what comes out is just Dr. Pepper. He's so skinny, too. I know he's so, which he, oh man, he just runs all day. He's go, 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 He's go, go, go. He's got a really high metabolism. He's, I think he's 175 pounds right now. But he's taller than I am. Oh, he's taller than me. He's taller than me. Wait till you see him, Anna. And his hair, he literally looks like a homeless kid and he will not cut his hair. Uh, Why? He thinks it looks cool. Oh. I'm like, why don't we work on washing our face in the shower <laughs> he's at that your age. hair looks great that's sure you sure but let's let's wash our face in the shower okay so there's the first coat of that green should i do the second one the same green or the lighter green the lighter green are you gonna do the like another coat lighter i'm probably gonna take the light and do some of the veins on it to enhance the veins then i would just keep them the same i guess yeah, that's probably a good idea. I mean, Becca might say Becca would go the other way. Becca's not here. Becca, you straightened your hair today. Was it the she wow stuff? She used this new product. What's How the you new product? Well, that product is specifically um, designed to work more when you're in humidity. It keeps it from getting fuzzy. Mm. And are you going to do my hair on Tuesday or Thursday? What would you prefer, my I don't sweet care. Rachel? I don't care. I'm going to say Tuesday because I did forget that I do have an eyelash appointment on Thursday. Okay. I'm going to say Tuesday. Tuesday it is. Could you cut Charlie's hair too? I mean, I, I, I can. He was the best angel ever last time. I'm hoping that wasn't a fluke. He loves me. If it's a warm day, we'll go outside so there's not hair all over my kitchen. Sounds fantastic to me. Okay. Do you want to try and dye it gray again? Do you want to try and dye it gray again, Rachel? No. Do you want your color done as well? What do you think? I'll look at it here in a minute. Okay. I don't want you going on your trip and having nasty hair. Mm. Well, it is my honeymoon, you know. Mm-hmm. We were supposed to get married on the 9th. You two lovebirds just couldn't resist. We just ran off the gore house like little kids. <laughs> um, for real, Miss Clay Expert, which kind of glue would you say would be best? For I, Honestly, for the live, I would probably do hot glue because you kind of need it to dry kind of quick. But, but if not, then I would say E6000. Ooh. You need a good grippy a good grippy well, glue. Well, I can always pop that out afterwards and do a good glue. Oh, uh, yeah, you can. Micah, we're going to I'm going to say it wrong. Cur- Curacao, Curacao. Say it how Jason says it. Caraco. <laughs> Jason says it Caraco. <laughs> it's in the Southern Caribbean. We're super super <laughs> excited. Caraco. Caraco. I swear to you all, I wish I could remember what it was he was ordering at our birthday dinner that I, I mean that was right after we'd met him, too, and he botched something and completely owned it. It was some food. What was it? See, the the man can take it w- just as good as he can dish it, which is annoying sometimes. Because I'm like, get upset. Because like, get there's mad. zero, absolutely zero reaction. Nothing. 
So he'll dish it all day and laugh and laugh and laugh, and he'll take it just the same with no reaction. I feel like and I'm I like, could bomb the what? man's house, and he'd be like, okay. Well, his di- house did burn one. down. Do you know what he got? His kid and his tobacco, and he walked outside in his underwear and just, it is what it is. He was like, I had fun picking up kitchen cabinets. And I'm like, oh, my, what, what? <laughs> Nothing bothers the kid. How many babies crying? Valenez, um, I am going to let these dry on their own for a minute while I go over and plant this little guy. You're going to plant your bunny ear yeah, thing? Yeah, so honestly, I would probably spray this with um, a spray. Do we have any polycrylic? Just to keep it from chipping? Yeah. We have spray polycrylic. Yeah, we? we do. I'll get it for okay. you. Okay, thanks. Thanks, pal. Do you want me to get it like now? Yeah, I'm going to do it before I put the plant okay. in so I don't kill the plant. Also, um, Ray's post or not post in the Facebook group, but she wanted everyone to know that her mom won her case last week. <gasps> Yay! So she got all her funds that were seized. Good. Good. Let's do that one. I'm just going to do a really light coat over here in the trash can. Wow. There she be. There she be. Okay, now. Get my potting mix. Hey, has anyone checked on our on your all's fern lately? Um, well, maybe we'll doing? maybe we'll skip talking about Wilda today. How's she doing? Did she die? Die. I was the price of potting mix, Anna. Did she die? She's not looking too good. I've replanted it, replanted her for them. I did. If <laughs> if she dies, we're blaming her. you, Anna. You are so full of crap. She's going to go love on her. She really don't look good. Really? Yeah. I get my nails done today. One of those kids locked Becca out. Anna, will you please get this shape? Please no. get my shape of nail. Why? Just try it. No. Try it for two weeks. If you hate it's two weeks, They're Anna. They're too long that way. No, don't do them this long. But in order for them to get that shape, they have to be longer. Anna, it's so cute. I... Listen, we're both running around with toddlers. We both do a decent amount with our hands. If I can handle it, you can handle it. Rachel. I have to put contacts in. I have I to. I hate having my fingernails over the edge of my fingers. Anna. I hate it. I always did too, but this is such a cute shape. Like, hate it, hate it. I love my nails. Ew. I love your nails on you. I love my nails. I'm so proud of you for actually having them. Thank you. You're welcome. What's the consensus, Becca? <gasps> you know what the divine miracle would have been is if both of y'all watered the thing for two years. I think repotting her was the death of her. Repotting her was Still the uh, only no, chance. She looks great. She looks so alive. <laughs> what does she need? Does Look she it up. Does miracle? she need? Does she need sunlight? Does she need? <laughs> what does she need? <laughs> Becca said, a, a miracle. miracle. What does she need? Uh, well, we don't want to put her out right now because it's too cold. But she may need some outside time. What? She can't handle like, it. Like, does she have any green left on her at all? No. Let's not talk about it. Let's not talk about it. Becca, we can't tr- throw her away. That's our love fern. <laughs> Stacy, these aren't round. What would you call these? Oval or they almond. Oval? They're almond. almond. They're almond. They're so, so flattering on my big, beefy man hands. <laughs> oh, God. They're so flattering. The funny thing is, is Rachel has large hands like Beck and I both do, and it totally makes her hands look feminine. Let me show you. Let me show you. Like 100% makes them look oh, feminine. Sure, this one's like, dry. Like, who's little Dane Rick? What? Like, oh, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> You're ridiculous. Instead of like, what do you need from me? <laughs> They're all dainty. I love them. 
Dear God. Listen, I have big man hands, and I'm fine with that, but they look... <laughs> man hands <laughs> and granny panties. Ugh. Ugh. You didn't even have your hands done, like, when you got in... Yeah, you had your fingernails done when you got engaged, didn't you? Yeah, but it was just, you know... Just a gel manicure? It was, yeah, it was just a little gel manicure. If I had life to do over, I would have spent a little bit more on some good nails, but... I really wish this was cilantro. W why? I love cilantro. I hate it. Well, I know you and Becca both do, and that's why I really wish it was. Wait, one of the twins? Interesting. Huh? Interesting. So you like it. I, I mean, love Becca it. Becca hates it. Love it, love it. That's interesting. Oh, God, I don't like this. You know what? If my fingernails were short, I wouldn't be able to fill that up under there. Okay, I'm no. a week overdue. Well, that's your problem. Well, you know, she had to go to California. Are they taking a week off to plant more corn in the in the no, parking that's lot? No, her, that's her father-in-law that does that. It's a little early for that. They anyway. literally plant corn in the parking lot of the nail salon. You get to watch it grow all summer long. And then you get to watch, like, the crows come and get it afterwards. And What did he say? Oh. It's corn. What about a grow lot? Brenda said a grow lot. Do we need to whip a grow lot over there for for Wilda? Oh no, she's she's got a whole back of windows, and she so she just needed it was it was too little, too late. That's what happened? No, no, no. Yes, it I is, did not Becca. poison. It is that hard plant. to revive a poisoned plant. You all have lost your minds. Oh, here she's hardening up. That's good. Where did my plant go? I never got here. Oh, that makes me so sad. Broke right off. You know what, I bet that if I had left it on the thing to cool instead of picking it up, that they wouldn't have done that. Well, Anna, shoulda, woulda, coulda. Live and learn. Live and learn. Live and learn. I don't know, I'm, I'm probably not gonna change the color of that. That looks like a pretty good. Pretty good carrot color. Pretty good carrot color. Okay, so let that dry a little bit. Now, I went and got these bunny ears. Hang on, let me go. Oh. <laughs> I also find this to be exceedingly tacky. I hate this kind of stuff. So we're just gonna put those bunny ears in. So all I'm gonna do is rip her off. She's got- So you did go to Hobby Lobby? I ended up having to go to Hobby Lobby because all of the- um, Did you get my felt? What? Oh, no, you didn't get my does no one read the text message? What felt? <sighs> I'll go today. What felt? Can someone answer me? We needed, I needed felt. For what? For my project on Tuesday. What's your project? Read your text I messages. I guess I need to go back. <laughs> Jeez. So rude around here. <laughs> I did the at Anna too. Did the at Anna. All I heard was the, can you cut my hair? Well, I guess that in order of importance, that is more important. So. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh, okay. Oh. The hostility. <laughs> <clears throat> Patty, yes, the fern's name is Wilda. Was. Anna, shut up. <laughs> her name is Wilda. We'll will her back into health. Mm-hmm. shorter. My hands are hurting. <laughs> well, what in the world, guys? Nikki, feel better. I may need your man hands to come. Okay, I got it. K 
Kat, I know, we don't have time to order the good Benzy stuff. We don't have enough of it. But it's okay. It's not for, like, a big aspect of the project. It's okay. But, yeah, we are going to be using crappy felt. Okay, 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 okay. Wow. I really hope this glue works. It's hot glue. It'll do the job. Those ears fit that perfect. I know. So they did have a bunch of like fun colored ones. And I also contemplated getting these and then covering them um, with a fun fabric. Mm. Um, you could either cut them inside out, glue them, and then flip them right side if you're not wanting to do like a sew sure. project. Or sure. you could actually sew them. Um, um, and and I, I would cut that steak before you glue those ears on. I've already done, buddy. Uh, did you get the square pot from Hobby Lobby too? Yes. She's so cute. She's like four dollars or something. Oh, that's Maybe. not bad. Yeah, four fifty. I'm gonna have to tape the back or paint the back of these guys. Woo! This hot glue is probably not so fantastic, guys. Just do a better job than me. Won't be hard. I'm oh. kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> 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 Oh, Anna. Look. Oh, how Anna. You. She's cute. I really feel like I outdid myself on this one. She's really cute. She, I mean, she really is. And um, you can, if you wanted to do it like a brighter, more fun one, have the kids paint the outside of it. Um, you could also turn it into like a candy dish if you didn't want a flower or something in it. Um, I probably wouldn't do a terracotta pot if you were doing that. Uh, but get like a metal bucket from the Easter Isle, or um, they've got them over in the spring section at Hobby Lobby. Tons of them right now, too. Really good color. Have you seen the colors they have right now, Becca? They've like this awesome sagey color that you'd love. Um, anyway, you can do lots and lots with this, uh, but I want to commemorate all of my chunky baby feet for as long as I can. Um, so I may be that mom that now decorates for Easter. Just Nothing so wrong with that. Be out. Nothing, yeah. Might as well display them. You also can make carrots out of the feet. Have you seen that? Like if you didn't want to make a bunny, just wanted it carrot, carrot That's themed. That's cute. Yeah. But this, the flat sides make it a whole lot easier to decorate than if it's curved. Yeah. Because they start oh, yeah, looking yeah, a yeah. little wonky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You also could, if you were fantastic like Becca, make your kids' feet into a cut file and then cut that out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, if I went back and watched a video, I could probably figure that out. Most of the time, I just send it to Becca and say, Do this, please. Hey, will you do this? Yeah, yeah. But that is the end of the live, guys. Um, Isn't she cute? I've Thanks, got a mess Anna. over here. This is adorable. Yeah, yeah. What's everybody saying? That they love it. So darn cute. Anna, that's adorable. Love it. That's adorable. Hit the like button. Penny said, thank you. Patty said she loves it. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. I also love it. Sorry. Anyway, anyone got anything they want to say? Becca? Rachel? I believe I've said enough. You've said plenty. Becca? You good? Do y'all want to know how to make a cut file out of his feet? Say yes or no. Becca's willing. They'll say yes. You're going to make it out of this one? They're not really dry. You can go take a picture of it. You want to make a it. cut file out of my foot? Oh. <laughs> Micah said, what's for lunch? Micah? Chicken egg rolls. Chicken egg <gasps> Like I said, chicken Is egg that rolls. Is that today? 
Oh, we have them all the time. We have all the chicken egg rolls. Did you get the ones we cook or the ones they cook? The ones we cook, but it's that brand. It's the How same did you top. find them? They're what? They're great value. They're the same ones, aren't they, Becca? Same ones. Becca, that lady told you they didn't sell them. I know she's a liar. She does not like her job. Or she didn't like Becca. I, however. Did you tell everybody about how nice you were to everyone on the trip? Okay, listen. We have this friend. Hey, if you're teaching cut files, you got to do the teaching now. Or we could do that for a member only or something, and then we can. Okay. Then let we me, can chit a chat. Let me clear a little bit. Do you want my microphone? Oh. While she's getting that ready, um, we have our, our um, some of y'all met him at the flock, but Alan Welch, Lisa, who you see on here sometime, her husband, Alan, is one of the nicest people ever in the history of the world. And he travels, he's a pharmacist and travels um, for a living. And everywhere he goes, he, he audits all pharmacies and hospitals. By the way, he's not a traveling pharmacist, but anyway, no, that's, go ahead. That's weird, sorry. Yeah. Anyway, um, so he makes it a point to like talk to everyone on the airplanes and in the airport and at restaurants, makes all these new friends, all these new connections. And um, so he's like, yeah, I mean, I met the president and I'm gonna go have dinner at the White House and this person's uh, got me tickets to their NFL suite. And I mean, just like outlandish stuff. That's like, how do you even do this? Anyway, so on this trip, Becca said, I'm gonna channel my inner Alan and make friends everywhere. And I'll be, <laughs> she didn't really make any friends, but she talked and was nice to absolutely everyone. And I was like, you're so annoying. I'm, I mean, I'm sure they loved it, but she obviously needs to take a few lessons from Alan on how to actually get the connection after they're nice. I'm working on it. It's fun. It's a progress. It's fun. <laughs> Okay, so to this is going to be really quick, um, since especially since I wasn't planning. So what I'm going to do is just use my phone, regular old phone, take a picture of this, and uh, make sure that when you're taking the picture that it is squared and that it's not, um, like, if I'm taking this picture, I want it to be as even as possible. I don't want to angle my phone because it will distort the ratio, like, top to bottom or side to side, depending on how I'm taking it. So make sure that it's good and squared. That, uh, most phones have a little grid on it, and you can activate that grid if you have problems doing that to get it good and squared. And then, once you have a good photo, um, share it on your device. I'm using um, just my MacBook Pro here. Or like email it Yeah, to email it, share it, whatever. Yeah. Come on, buddy. Uh, Becca. This is a great question. What dipping sauce do you use for your egg rolls? Oh, sour cream. There's no other dipping sauce. Like a half of a pound. Yeah, <laughs> at least. Um, let me see if this is going to work or if I need to edit this really quickly. I use Frank's Red Hot Sauce, and it's delicious. And uh, Micah, they're from Wal <laughs> Walmart. So, like, the deli, they make them. Not like hand roll them. They deep fry them for three minutes and then throw them out for people to purchase. Did you ask the process? Huh? Did you ask them specifically how long? How I, well, I was there. Oh. I, I was watching the whole thing. So, I don't know if you can see on the overhead or not. One thing that I'm going to do oh, before. Oh, sorry. I thought it, you were on your screen. I was and now I'm not. Okay. Uh, one thing that I'm going to do is edit this. I could edit this on my computer too, but I want it to be high contrast. This types of, these types of um, conversions that I'm about to do do really well with high contrast. So like black and white. Um, so if you are doing it specifically to make a cut file, then then do it like with black ink or white ink on, on the opposite. Um, so what I'm going to do is just make it a black and white photo, um, increase that contrast and the black point and all of that fun stuff so that I have a really clear image. See how we have very black and very white? This is going to be re working very perfectly. Um, so now I'll share it with my computer and then put it over in Illustrator. You can do this in Inkscape as well if you have Inkscape. If you do not have Inkscape, it is a free app to do um to, to download and use it is not as user friendly in my opinion as illustrator partly because i'm so used to illustrator now um 
but you can definitely do this as well. So now what I'm going to do is just come up here to image trace. If you don't have image trace, um, you should have image trace. I use the essentials workspace. So if I import a photo, this is a, P a uh, PNG or JPEG, either one, then image trace automatically comes up under my quick action. So press image trace and I'm just going to do a black and white logo because I have this high contrast image. It's going to work pretty well. Now all I have to do is press expand and then I'm going to delete this stuff that I don't need after I press ungroup. And you can kind of pull this over like this. Just delete all of this right here. And then what I am going to do is kind of fill in a little bit here and there. Um, and to do that, I'm going to, you can do it a couple of different ways. If you didn't want all of this, which I do want this right here to be open so that it looks like feet. But if I didn't want to, then the easiest way is to come over here to release and press release and then do it like that. Totally do it like that, make it easy. The other way to do it, if you have specific selections that you want to fill in, is to come over to your Shape Builder tool and see how when I click on it, or just, I don't even click on it, when I'm hovering over it, it kind of highlights it, and all I wanna do is click with my mouse and drag through. Click and drag through, and I'm gonna do that in every single spot that I want to be filled in. So all of these little pieces, because if I don't fill in these tiny pieces, when I go to cut this out in Design Space, it's gonna cut all of those tiny little pieces. If I'm using cardstock or vinyl or something like that, then it is going to shred it, to be honest. Um, so definitely want those little types of things to be filled in. I'm probably going to leave I'll do these. I'll, these bigger ones I'll leave open. Finish these up really quickly. Another easy way instead of going through all of that to get all these teeny tiny ones is to grab like a shape builder tool and just kind of cover them up like this. Oh, that's smart. Kind of cover like this. <clears throat> cover like this, you're not changing the shape at all. And then when you go like this and go to your Pathfinder tool and unite it all, then it just all becomes one and it has it has filled those spots in. So that's a way to do it as well. You can do that up here as well. Um, so let me just grab an ellipse tool real quick and show you. Super easy to do that. Kind of like this. There's so many different ways, just like in Design Space, there's so many different ways to do things like this. Then again, I'm gonna unite all of it, which basically welds it all together. Now, the other thing that I want to do, um, see all these jaggedy edges right here? I don't necessarily want those because of how it's going to cut. It's gonna cut pretty badly. So I'm going to use the smoothing tool and I may have to undo this because sometimes if you use the smoothing tool then it takes out details like up here that you want. Um, but I, my hope is that it will kind of get rid of these right here. So when I hit that smoothing tool on these points, it just smooths out. See how it's smoothed? It's actually not that bad. I may just leave it like that. Obviously, the cutest of everything. obviously I would want to fix this. So what I'm going to do, like, Ultimately, if you were if you knew that you were creating this specifically for this reason, then do that black and white. It will be a whole lot easier to convert uh, without having to come in here and do all of this. But um, I'll probably get rid of this right here to make it look more like a shape. And look, guys, I'm going through this like at an astronomic pace, right? If learning this type of thing is something you are very interested in, we have an entire higher course that will teach you all of this. What is the shape builder tool that I keep using? What is the curvature tool that I'm using right now? How do I take an image and completely from scratch make a cut file? We go through every single bit of this in the course. It's 30 something vi uh, videos. I've made the course three times now. One, you want two different feet? No, no, make this whole thing. Like this. You want to get rid of that? I'm just deleting these little anchor points here. Anyway, start to finish. If you know absolutely nothing about Illustrator, once you take this course, you will be a phenomenal graphic designer. Do you want this two separate feet or one foot? Just one. Okay. 
So I don't know. I'm not understanding what yeah, you want. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Okay. Um, yeah. Take the course. We have the course. We have it on sale. It is on the website. You do not have to be a member in order to join the course. Um, so that's fun. Almost finished here. We also have a private Facebook group where you can post your progress in the course. You can also post, which nobody does this. Why don't you all do this? I'm a resource. You all are not posting if you have any issues creating your cut files, and that's why I am there. Post in there. I will help you all that I can to finish your cut files. I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. And then all I want to do is save this. Oh, no. How did I get rid of that? Oh, yeah. No, I want those back. Yeah, we want that back in there. What's over here? What's this? Huh. We'll get those toshes back in there. We should make them green because they're stinky. They are very stinky. Something about those kids' feet, I'm telling you. I love them. God, I love them. Green feet. They smell like a swamp. They do. Not all the time. Just most of the time. Food. It's just his toes that do. His feet don't. You look in the vegetable section. That's about right. Oh, yep. Maybe a little more poopy than that. Yep. No, we're leaving them like that. And then we're just going <laughs> to save it. Export, export as, and then we're going to save it as an SVG. You can also save it as a PNG if you want to. Chap. Stink feet. <laughs> That's not spelled correctly. And then open up design space. Upload your graphic you just made. How are you so fast at this? I've done it a couple times. Once or twice. And now you can cut this out. Oh, there was a failure image load. If you still have trouble, con well, I need to update my design space. Cricket's fault. Yeah, cricket. Dang it, Cricket. Son of a gun. Anyway, it would cut if I had my design space updated. Look how precious those little toothsies are. Gosh, super easy. Now you can make this out of vinyl and you can size it. So what you would want to do is obviously measure that actual foot size and then size this to the actual foot size. Super cute project, Anna. I like the painting of the carrot. Thank you. You're welcome. Those look good. It does. What grade would you give her on it? I thought at least a 97. I can see the hot glue. That's why I took off a couple points. So I would say probably 97. Yeah. It's really cute. What I love the ears. What would you give I'm it? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm going to start grading yours. I like to do things just for Anna's faces. I'm an A plus student. Over I won't here. be able to get the course until April. Do I need PI? I think you mean AI, right? To take the course. Yes, you need Illustrator to take. The, I mean, you can take it without it, but you're going to want to. In fact, what I say to do is watch the entire course, watch all the videos, and then go back and actually apply those skills in Illustrator. But you will want Illustrator in order to take the course, yes. Um, did I miss any other questions? Uh, one of them said they absolutely love your hair, Becca. Thank you. Mom would give you bonus points on 104. That's because she wants you to give this to her, Thanks, so she's Mom. trying to butter you up. Um. Anyway, thanks for being here. Thanks for letting me jump in your live. That was fun. Super cute live, Anna. Great thanks. job. I love it. Fantastic. Thanks for being here. We will be live next week. I'm already prepping my project for next week. Rach is already prepping her project for next week. Who are we? Uh, oh my I gosh. don't even know. It's crazy. Have a fantastic week. If you haven't already joined, I don't know that Anna sold any membership. Please, I'm getting four. kicked off if I don't sell any, and I need four. four. That's that's le less than forty dollars. I see zero. None. Come on, people. Zilch. Come on. Nada. I don't see any new people on here either, though. True. We'll see at the end of the day. Yeah. We'll yeah. I'm getting the axe if y'all don't join. Anyway, <laughs> join, join, join. It helps us pay our bills. Honestly, like if you don't join, we can't pay bills. Um, also, a free way to help us is share our content, like our page, leave us comments like our content, all the fun stuff. So thanks so much for your support and we'll see you guys next week.